Alright, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I guess we are in episode... 30? So, um, I did some crafting, mainly fixing the... Fixing the, uh... What's it even called? Split point bullets. That's what it's called. Anyhow, as I went through and made all that and cooked some meat and stuff like that, I realized that it's not only from the fat wagon you can fast travel, you can fast travel from the camp. And I don't know how to feel about that, since there's a lot happening on the road to places, so... I mean, some of the things that are happening are important, some are, some are not, I guess. Yeah. What are they doing? Did he really kill the other guy? Or did I miss something? I have to let my cat out. Same time, so... Hold on. We're gonna check in on this guy. Or not. I mean, we are at the right place, so... Oh, well, I guess he's not open, and I can actually... Here, wait till the morning. Let's see now then. Guess I should actually go in and stock up on some ammunition now that I've made. So, you're back. Alright, what do you want? Let me see what's available. Ammunition. Well, I can actually afford it, so... Listen, you won't take all day, will you? I don't know if this actually gives anything more. I think we have upgraded something before. But might as well. On the other hand, why didn't I actually Sure, buy don't the go waste up pages though.
Bloodbath and Valentine. I don't know what that sounds. Out of way. Wanna buy a paper? We go to bushwhack a prop. All I want. Next time. Sure. Line up. Scarlet Metal Bandits, Murder and Loose. Get a move on, will you? Train robbery. Yeah, that's us. Line up, Rhodes. Get your papers. How are you carrying on? Basically, no, they like don't know. Pushing these papers. Always good to hear. Oh, okay. So which one was the other one? Oh. Line oh, up, Rose. Get your favorite. Okay. Gang portal guards face off. Yep, uh, I guess that was us. That was the mission where we actually. Uh, where Strauss got hit, I guess, and we pushed the, va the wagon. Oh. Well, didn't write much about it, but. Enough, I guess. Let's see them. Mister? Fine morning. That's so. I don't know where is this guy? Oh, okay. You want a fitting? Gwen Hughes? Start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't... I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I can get it for you. But, uh... Well, uh... Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> oh. Okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Okay. I'm still gonna be keeping watch. Damn it! There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long past <sighs> prudishness. It's this. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy.
Oh, oh, one more. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. All right. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh... Exhumation. Exhumation. Okay. That's one way of putting it, I guess. I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. Well, I guess it was. Am I gonna stand here and twiddle my thumbs for a long time? Hope he's a quick digger. Things was done on merit. You and me would be running things. Sure would. Uh-huh. Yep. Hey, look, we're closed for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh. Damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys going to need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're going to lick uh, you, bastard. Uh, You're going to get a whoop. Uh, uh, got a nerve on you. Uh, Give me Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's your more than Okay then. Early midnight. Molly O'Shea. Grace. So what are we doing? Checking out Grace. Molly needs to speak to you. Honest mistake. That seems to be a lot of guns and stuff. Yeah. Let's do that. So I should probably hunt something for the soup. Yes. Hey there, mister. I'm actually scared to say this, but the reason being I should probably hunt something is because 
starting to get the hang of it, so now that I've said that, I'm obviously gonna miss and fail everything I try. But I'll shoot someone's dog or something. Am I supposed to be catching them or something? Plan for that moonshine? I'm working on it. Okay. <sighs> he is kind of cool. Hey, Arthur. Can, can I have a quick word? One big horse. Oh, hey, Arthur. I left something for you by your tent. Just to say thanks for the harmonica. Okay. Thank you. Check the tent first then. I would check it before. I didn't Mr. know. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, folks is wondering what's happened to you. Nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Nothing is right. That's the point. That's the point. Work, Mr. Morgan. Folk need feeding. I never took you for the lazy type. Country. So get to work, all of you. Arthur. We can do well and fine here for a while. Oh, I didn't tell me. I don't we think you'll really convince anyone you're a law so man, get Arthur. To work. We still need it's probably the same thing. Money. Yeah. Lots of money. Get to work. Hey, O'Driscoll. Why'd you come here and sit down? I ain't no O'Driscoll. I swear I proved myself. All right, will you take it easy? Yeah, I'm just messing. So, uh, what did you... I mean, where... You want to have a drink? Oh, no, thank you, oh. sir. Took a while for me to get back, but I do have some money. Forty, yeah, uh, get us up to two hundred or something. Oh, wrong button.
Well, I do contribute more than everybody else. Well, I don't know what they're complaining about. Sure, I don't contribute as many times as others, but I bring in bigger payoffs. All right. I should probably check if there's something we need to upgrade. Get that better stew. Some more stuff, I guess. I'll get money to spend, so. I mean, I got money for it. zero so let's actually get some funds Keep it. The boy needs something. After all he's been through. Sure. Okay then. Arthur. Yeah. Fuck, fuck you, Micah. After him, I will and make sure you don't get into the food, Arthur. This is Ed. Hey, Hello, Arthur. Arthur. Can, can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... 
I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. So... Come on, then, you miserable bastards! What happened to Molly, then? How do you get wind of this, old man? We've only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> I've been watching them. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Crust. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. Bear! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Hopefully close to camp, though. Stop the wagon! I said stop the... Try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay. Why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Now, let's see what's inside. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Hey! They can say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah!
how the get out of here get out of here go on I'll see you later all right let's get out of sight stay until dark and then we'll sneak out of here Charles you keep watch for now sure well we uh get some rest Oh, hold on. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I mean, Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, I, I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Guys, guys, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. Better oh. not me. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the... Sir. Uh, why is my camera stuck? It's a little bit too railroady sometimes, but I really love the freedom that you get otherwise. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Really?
shit! Fire! That's not a good thing. Kind of intense. Wish I had my actual scoop rifle. We don't get out of here soon. We're charcoal. Come on, old man. Come on, old man. Right. You see anything? Not yet. Oh, well, really? Oh, we're gonna be we quiet. Shit. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwon. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwon. Run, quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Save Uncle when he's overpowered. He wasn't overpowered. Dang savings cut. Okay. Fair enough. And there's my horse. Well, that one. Better than I thought. Yeah. Now, why was this instead of Molly? Molly's thing? Molly. Molly said something about being whoa, whoa. loyal. 
she done, done something really stupid? Wild pigs. Take long. So I didn't have the option to put it on the horse. Does this mean that I won't be able to donate it for the skill? Well then. So what did Molly do? Decent and hunt, how do I Let's actually go, get the that mission to trigger, I guess? I was trying to talk to her and then Uncle came in and... needed our help with stuff. Oh, 
168, wasn't there supposed to be 450? Am I missing something? some money off it. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right material. Just remember, my items are one of a kind, Mr. Morgan. Appreciate it, Pearson. Now, where is Molly? Joey. Mary Beth. Lady. Karen. Sulking, it's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly! Oh, what's this thing? Okay. Cigarettes and gun oil. Good to know. Okay. Chocolate bar. Okay. Well, I guess we are not getting that mission again then. It's supposed to be interrupted like that. Guessing it is. That's a fair side of blood on you, Mr. Morgan. All right. So, Larry, what do you Off. need? Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? 
Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Come on, it's this way. On me. Cha. Oh. My horse doesn't want to go the way I want to go want it to go. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie. We were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them. But I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Uh, decent folks. But some places down here... They judge different. Oh, well, Anna. Uh, guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Oh, fair enough. I am worried for Mary's sake, though. Love to see what she was. Feels like we're close. Of. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well. We got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. <laughs> hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, the wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Are we doing this? Oh, you led me here, so are we? We can get a view on it from that wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? All right, some tents. We got men everywhere. Off near the porch. Hey, move that scope over to the right. Look over to the left. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, and then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. You gonna make a call? Gonna hit him head on. Wow. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So, you gonna make a move? You gonna go back there? As soon as you shoot, I'll go. Why do I have this rifle? Can't toggle the scope.
This is just trash. You got anything? Not yet. This one looks good. Search it. I think we should search the crates, Arthur. And how do I do that? Search it. How? Check them before we drive them out of here. And how do I actually search them? Oh, here. Okay. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. on it. Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately. 
And I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth dragon. More about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. Against my better judgment. Just... You worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... No, no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yep. Also, the rolling block, block rifle. It's always scoped with the other one. I can actually choose if I want to use the scope or not. I don't know if that's just for this mission. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Uh, got a new rifle? Old action rifle. <laughs> you come to arrest me, Morgan? I hope I could. So the bolt action. It's almost like fun. Can I see it in the weapons locker? Weapons locker. Gentleman's revolver. Is there a statement? Stay away from me. Oh, but, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. <laughs> it always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Well, well. <laughs> Where did he come from? I don't know. He just wandered in. Bolt action. Well, and he's ours. fire rate. No. Uh, no. Better fire rate. That's so great. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Uh -huh. What should we call him? Well, well he's a wanderer. He probably did. Just so you know, bad. I'm going to kill him. I'm gonna kill all of them. Who, Mrs. Adler? Those old Driscolls. I'm gonna find them and kill each and every one of them bastards. Just watch me. You've had a bad time, but... But we ain't in the revenge business. It don't keep you fed. <sighs> Just watch me. Oh, you do you. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Okay, Arthur. Lenny and I raided a big old house in the swamps, stole some guns. Good work. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Well hidden. All right, well, I should be getting on. Whatever you say. Bill Williamson. What could he want? Arthur. Yeah, I'm not playing with you. Sorry. Where's Molly? Always good to see you. Evening, Arthur. Mr. Morgan! I 
feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Well, uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, oh. maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. Oh, that too. Well, what is it? Well, thank you, but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Okay. How are things? Uh, Very well. Good Glad evening, Arthur. Good evening. Can I get some soup? No. <laughs> oh, there's a lion and the lion he starts is. here. The proud Englishman. Don't fight other man's battles, boy. And anyway, my family weren't even English. Whatever you say, King Arthur. <laughs> King Arthur. Oh. Hi. King Arthur. Really? How are you? Between a rock and a hard place. I really like it. Yeah. If I can give you any piece of advice, any at all, don't become a mother. I ain't worth it. Worst job in all creation. Well, you're kidding. Here, Feed here's the boy. Right. Raise the boy. Do any damn thing you could to protect the boy all the time. Does a little apple of his mother's eye so much as consider the words thank you? Or express anything other than utter whore at her who birthed him? <sighs> Rudeness I think I could take. It's the pity and disgust I struggle with. It breaks my heart every time it does. So don't any of you boys become mothers. Well, it's worth gonna be hard. Believe me when I tell you that, it ain't worth it. It's hard to become a mother when you're... ...boys. Hey, Arthur. My lady. Now, what did Bill want? Arthur! We need to talk to you! What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we oh, was I preparing didn't. to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay, 
So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, then he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're going to send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just going to rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Follow me. We're going to ride all the way to Valentine. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh. And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know medal. I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, you rob Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. Like the nose I ain't sure twice. that's always true. Well, what's happened to you? Kind of does. You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, 
and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Excessive, but so we are mostly done in Valentine, so Good morning. Hello. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. Wait, what? All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Uh, I don't get these my weapons. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. See, still sawing that. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunk in Harlem? False little girl. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real down. Would you care to? I'm with child, and you I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn hands up! This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! No word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here, unlock the door. We're good. Oh, oh you think oh, we're here? Oh, 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 open that goddamn vault. Oh, oh, open it. Oh, oh, oh. needs to get a move on! Okay, okay. Hurry up. Is he in the right revolver? All good. I'm in! Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here, 
<laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I. God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you <laughs> better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still. I can. This is slower, but it's quieter. Okay. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. I'll keep a lookout at the door. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. How's it looking there? Good. I told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Let me go. I, I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. Bill, I'm going in there. We're getting there. Few more minutes. Oh, it's a lot of money. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Well, I am going to try this uh, this uh, last safe, of course. Last one. Good. We gotta move. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Oh, it could move a little bit faster.
Ребята, Gentlemen, that was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That should be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. Downs range. So did we get? Yep. Yeah. So what was his second? And did he die from being sick? I guess. Is it contagious? that much advanced medicine so husband. My husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Well, is there gonna be a cutscene when I ride back? That's the second time. And there's some significant to it, significance to it, I guess. That 
a bit too foreboding for my liking. Same age as them silly girls. Oh, away with you, silly man. Oh, no, no. If I, if I was five years younger, oh, and a thousand Arthur. richer, well, I'd marry you. Uh, ladies, gentlemen, a moment. I just want to say thank you to Miss Karen, Bill, Lenny, Arthur. They're doing their jobs. Rest of us, uh, we should hang our heads in shame. They remembered to rob the goddamn bank in Valentine. <laughs> oh, well. Rest of us, rest of us are slipping. Pride. Never forget the pride in our work. You four. I salute you. Yes, that's so. I gotta give it to Bill, Karen, and Lenny. They made the right call going back there. It was exactly what we needed. Back on our feet. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, then. Well, how much do we, do we have, then? <laughs> do I have 170? Well, then. <sighs> F fair enough. Like my share of the money. Make sure we get some more funds to it. That's it. So I'll see you guys in the next one.